This is a question that I get a lot, Veronica. How do I get my show on Spotify? How do I get my podcast, my video podcast on Spotify? We are going to do it. I'm going to do it here with you. And I'm going to do it with our new show, Content Sancocho. It's going to be video and audio. So I'm going to walk you through the process of uploading your show to Spotify step by step. And then we are going to be showing you the new Spotify features that are really cool, if I do say so myself. Like I tried them yesterday. Pretty cool stuff. Let's get to it. You can upload audio only or you can upload your video podcast too. When you do a video podcast, then the video will be distributed only on Spotify. And then you can set up your RSS feed and manage distribution to other podcast platforms like Amazon Music and Apple Podcasts as well. So how do we upload our shows to Spotify? Well, the first thing that you want to do is to go to Spotify for creators. Then while you're there, you can say, sign up for free or log in using your existing Spotify account. What I did for this exercise is that I, do, I created a brand new account for our show Content Sancocho. Hit get started and then sign up for Spotify. Then you go to the terms and conditions screen. After that, you will be sharing your registration data with Spotify and then click sign up. Once you've done all this, then you are inside Spotify for creators. This is a very exciting moment. It's like, okay, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is happening. Spotify will give you another pop-up that will say that you need to accept the terms and conditions. Click on uh, accept, and then you're going to get a pop-up message that will tell you learn more about Spotify for creators. Close out of this pop-up. And then here we are. We're going to create our new show. For this, you want to have all of the information that you need handy. So create a document. It can be a Google Doc. It can be a Word Doc. And then you add all of the information from your show, the name of your show, the description, just the short description of your show or the value proposition of your show, which is what's the value that you're providing for your audience, who's your audience, and all of these things. You want to choose a show category for my podcast for contents and cocho i chose marketing then you want to choose the language is, is your show in spanish is it in english and then you click next this is going to prompt you to add a show art so if you have one already created you can upload your show art if you haven't done any of this then you can go to canva and create your show cover art i went through the process of creating one for <laughs> <laughs> for content sancocho um i did it under like um 20 minutes i think uh, it was a, a pretty and i love pretty, it <laughs> pretty fun i'm interrupting this video because i want to personally invite you to join the plan it right challenge this is a three-day challenge that my team and i put together to help you create a video podcast that appeals to the masses grows your influence and brings in leads for your business all while making a real impact. By the end of the challenge, you have a show concept your audience will love and a clear strategy to grow your podcast exponentially on YouTube. Let's get your show planned, produced, and ready to grow. I'll see you inside the challenge. Okay, now back to the video. I created uh, that cover art. After we do this, then we'll go immediately to the homepage. The homepage is going to be the place where you're going to find your latest episodes. You're going to get an overview of your analytics. You are also going to get a place where you can see all the comments that your audience leaves you on your episodes, which is pretty cool that, um, you know, that you can do that on Spotify. When you are on your homepage, you're going to see this box that it's telling you if you're closer to launch your show. So it's going to tell you what are the next steps that you need to take. And one of those steps is that you have to verify your email address. So go to your email address. That's what I did. I went to my uh, email address and I saw that Spotify had sent me an email. Then I clicked on the email and I went through the process of verifying my email. This is how Spotify just make sure that you are a real person, that you're not a bot, you're not a spammer that you are flesh and bones <laughs> flesh, and bones. flesh and bones that was one of the best southern accents you've ever done <laughs> so after you've done this then 
you go into the process of uploading and publishing your first episode. And this is exciting. This is when things get real. This is what we've been waiting <laughs> for. This is a big moment. So you want to click on upload your first episode. And when you do this, it's going to take you to the upload page. So your upload page is going to have two boxes. One box is for you to upload your content, upload your episode, whether if it's audio or video. And then the other box is telling you to once again, go through the terms and conditions. And also on this side, you will find that need to record episode. And this is like, let's say that you went through the whole process and you don't have an episode recorded. Spotify for creators is linked to Riverside FM and Riverside is a tool where you can record video and audio and is right there on your browser. If you click on this need to record episode is going to take you to Riverside FM and then you'll go through the process of creating an account with them. There's a little bit of a learning curve. It's a great thing that both are linked because when you are done recording content on Riverside FM, then uh, that content will be transferred to Spotify for creators. You don't have to download any files or anything. They'll just, they're connected. And I forgot the word. Integrated. Integrated. Yes. And what's really cool about it too is Riverside's making all sorts of advancements all the time in terms of editing your episodes. Mm -hmm. You could do those preliminary edits and, you know, cut out some parts you don't want and trim the beginning and the end and then send that directly to Spotify is kind of where they're at. And that actually does work. You can't do any advanced editing and really any of the professional editing stuff like color correction or transitions or text animations and things like that. But, you know, if you just want to get started and get your episodes out there and get your message out there, you can do that directly from Riverside right yes. onto Spotify. On the other side of that screen, the upload screen is the upload your file here. And that's the one that I'm going to use because I already have my content recorded. So if you have your content recorded, then select this option on your right. When you click on select file, then it's going to take you to your computer files. And from your computer files, you find your episode and you click on that episode and they upload. And the upload is going to take a few minutes, maybe a little longer if you are uploading video there. It's of, you know, 4K or, or higher quality. And then after you have uploaded your episode, then you want to add basic description, like the episode title. Once again, you want to have all this information gather in one document so it's just copy and paste so that's what I did I copy the title I copy the description and then this is one of the new features for uh, Spotify and that's a, a thumbnail yes so, does this look familiar? It looks very familiar. YouTube. Also, so. what's cool about it is it has like this AI or automatically generated thumbnail that will just capture a frame from your episode or your video, mm -hmm. like exact copy of YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, or you can upload your own thumbnail. This is really exciting mm -hmm. because now we're, at, now we're looking at a platform that's going to be similar to YouTube where it's not, the, Spotify has this interesting combination between roulette style content like TikTok with its short videos for those who like to consume that way. And then it also has more selective, like I'm going to make my own adult decision on what I watch content like YouTube does, where you can upload your own thumbnail. And this is incredibly powerful because mm -hmm. a thumbnail gives you so much marketing potential in terms of getting a brand new person who's never encountered your content before an opportunity to click and watch one of your episodes. So yeah. really exciting. It will display only on Spotify because uh, remember when you upload your video podcast to Spotify, the video will only be posted or distributed on Spotify. There's a place for you to tell Spotify if your episode, if your content is for mature audiences, so over 18. You don't have to toggle this if your uh, content is for um, everybody, but if you do, then you just toggle it. And then another one is that if it has explicit content or explicit language, then you'll have to let Spotify know that your episodes have explicit language. If you're dropping the F-bombs, just click here. It's fine. Yes. Drop all so the F-bombs you want. If you are uh, have sponsored content or if you're running ads on your episodes, you have to let Spotify know if this is the case. I pretty much like here on YouTube, when you release a video, you have to let 
YouTube know if your content is being sponsored. This was very fun because you can create a poll to get audience engagement. You get your, your audience in the habit of interacting with your content. It's really, really hard to get people to comment, to get people to talk to you. Most of, of people, they're like passive content consumers. So the more you are just asking and asking and asking your audience to interact with your content, the better. So this is one way that you can do so. So for me, I added what type of content will you create in 2025? That was the topic of the episode is like from consumer to creator, become a content creator in 2025. So that was my question. And then you can add options to that. So they just have on the option and then, you know, additional details for your episode, like uh, episode type. Is it a trailer? Is it a, a, a full episode? Is it a bonus episode? Then also there's a place for you to say, okay, this is a uh, season number one and this is episode number one if you want to keep track of that and that's what I did I said season number one of content Zancocho episode number one officially it's being uploaded mm, and I was <laughs> what, say, what is that uh, accent upload. you have podcast art and that's the cover of your show and then you can have individual art for each episode and this will show on Apple podcast on Amazon music the audio only only podcast platforms. Then you are taken to this screen that is the review and publish screen. So this is where you go through all of the information that you just put there for your episode and you will be able to see a preview of the show and all of the, the different cover art and thumbnails that you added to the episode and then you get to choose if you want to publish the episode right away or if you want to schedule the episode for later. When I hit publish now then Spotify prompted me to connect my RSS feed with other podcast players and this is an important step that you want to do. You don't want to be exclusively on Spotify. You want your, your show to be available on other podcast platforms as well. And it's a very, very easy step to take. Um, Spotify for creators provides instructions. You just have to go step by step through the process. They also have links because when you are going to distribute your RSS to Amazon Music or to Apple Podcasts, you need to have accounts on these places and be able to log into those accounts when you are distributing your RSS feed but very easy very intuitive to do I did it you know within you know minutes let's look at some of the amazing new features uh, from Spotify for creators let's just jump in and let me show you some of the amazing features that are inside Spotify for creators so the first one if you go to settings you will have a screen that will show you all the information about your show and then you will see how you know you can change this information at any time you can add all of your links to your website your website URL your social media if you uh, go to the upper left menu you'll see a about availability that's where you find your rss feed and then team and then if you click on manage team it will take you to another screen where you can add people from your production team and you can assign different roles so if you have people managing your spotify for creators account there maybe they're replying to comments you don't have to share your login information they will have a different roles assigned inside spotify for creator so how cool is that okay so another um cool thing that we already show you was the thumbnails and i'm going to show you how it looks here on the spotify interface so you can see how cool this is so here at the top of your episode you can find the episode thumbnail here is going to be your description inside your description you can add a timestamps spotify will automatically organize them for you so then you will see the poll that you create created when you uploaded your episode uh, that's where it will be and your audience can vote and can interact with your content and if you keep scrolling then you will find the comments another new feature is that it will create a transcript for your episode so as they listen or as they watch they can scroll down the transcript and have that resource there for them and they can also if your episodes are an hour an hour and a half long or two hours they can use the chat 
factors to go through the different points that you cover inside that specific episode. And let me show you one of my favorite features. Let's click on the episode that I just uploaded for this video. If you click on that episode, that very first episode, and then you click on clips, you can upload vertical clips like Instagram reels, like YouTube shorts. This is the way so you can create a vertical clip of that episode that will play on Spotify and it will be pushed on the platform for people who are hunting for new episodes. It's been so fun for me to find new shows and also it gives me a lot of hope when it comes to my content being in front of new audiences. There's a clip and it says like uh, related videos. If you click on one, then you will see that that vertical video is linked to the longer format video. And that's how audiences will be able to find your content. Okay. And the way that you do that is that you go to clips. It can be longer than 90 seconds. So make sure that when you're creating yours, that you make them shorter than 90 seconds. And then the way that you upload them is that you click on the episode, the longer episode, there are these three dots on the right hand side and then you click on them and then you say upload clip and then you upload your vertical clip and then you add a short description of, of what the vertical clip is about and then you hit publish. So far you can only upload one vertical clip per episode, but we don't know if that's going to change. Uh, that said, when it comes to new features and things that you can use right away, then lastly, I'm going to talk about monetization. If you click on monetize, then Spotify will show you the different ways that you can monetize. You can apply for the Spotify partner program. And um, this is going to take a while for us. <laughs> because, uh, you know, to apply, you have to hit 2000 people streaming your content for 30 days. So if you have 2000 individual accounts streaming your content for 30 days, then you can apply immediately. That's one of the requirements. Or you hit a 10,000 consumption hours in the 30 day window, and then you published at least 12 episodes, and then you can um, apply for the Spotify partner program. And this is Spotify running ads on on your episodes. Really what is going to help you grow on a platform like Spotify for creators, YouTube is you creating consistent content and content that your audience enjoys. Consistency and testing the market and learning the different ways that you can grow your audience through SEO or through like making better content or you know any other content marketing strategies that you can employ. That's what is going to get you to the point where you start making money they and then can. subscriptions is the other way so you can offer subscriptions to your audience for you to make good money with subscriptions you need to have an audience that is is pretty big and we we work with beginner content creators beginner podcasters with the start with an audience of zero or a very yeah. small audience so we just um, um recommend different ways for them to start making money right away. Yeah, I think right off the bat, just a, a lot of these monetization features, they're really cool, but they're especially cool for big audiences. And so when people directly say like, can I make money podcasting? Then they're really talking about like advertisements. We want to like set you up for putting your efforts towards things that are actually going to get you more attention, build your influence, and then yes, make you money. An immediate thing to do instead of setting up these memberships would be to think about email marketing. Mm -hmm. Think about a free lead magnet or a free a freebie that you could create that you could offer to your audience in, in exchange for their email. That's a better way to start setting yourself up to eventually monetize your audience, you could say, than, and to spend your time than to, you know, right off the bat when you're first ready for your show to set up a subscription. I mean, I know that the similar thing to this that we've done when we first were starting with our podcast six years ago was to set up a Patreon. You, you have all of your friends and your, your close, your two of the fans that find you come and they're your patrons. And then you wind up feeling the pressure because people are paying you $5 a month. You feel the pressure to put out a bunch of bonus content. And that effort of you putting out the bonus content should really just be free content that's available to everyone. So you have more consistent content, a higher quality of content. Um, it'd be much better to instead look at like, you know, how you can improve your show, how you can make your show more appeal to a more generalist audience than it would would be to think about monetizing right now. 
you are going to make a ton of money on your content. Right now, though, let's just focus on development. All of the links and the resources that we're covering here, they will be added to the description. Uh, so don't worry. Distributing your podcast to Spotify for creators is one part of the equation. Making the content is another one that is very important. You have to like really, really learn how to make good content, how to record good quality video podcasts, how to record audio and video. And for that, we have a different resources here on our channel, walking you step by step on what the equipment do you need to record your video podcast and how to make amazing content.